What are you doing? Limbering up. Okay. Um, should we? Should we get on with it? Now? Yeah. I'm not ready. Yeah, when he could be bothered to join us, we'll, we'll get on with frost chief. No, just say. Well, do put the stuff there. You need to put it, there you go, that'll do, won't it? Right, hello. Welcome to our channel. Greetings. There's two of us today. <laughs> Isn't there normally? <laughs> it nearly wasn't a minute oh, ago. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes. Um, hi. Yes. Um, What's the phobia of beards? I, I have no idea. Good job you haven't got it. I know. To well, those out there, if you have got it, I'm sorry. It will be limited. I'd like you to introduce you to. I'd like to introduce you to Captain Birdseye's younger brother. <laughs> <laughs> if only that was an insult. It's a, a wee bit scrunched up here today. It's a bit, it's a little bit, excuse us while we just rearrange ourselves. Right. Okay. Hello. Hello. Good day. Welcome back to the the chaos that is. How many are we at? How many are we at? I think this is number 33. No, people even... that are watching. <gasps> oh, How many yes. followers? Uh, subscribers? Well, okay. Don't yeah. say followers. We, okay, so let's, let's just... <laughs> don't call them a cult. They won't like it. I said it's like a cult if you call it's them followers. A... Oh, if you call them followers, yes. Okay, they're subscribers. Um, the last time I looked, which would have been yesterday, mm -hmm. was 1,166. Well, a huge thank you to everybody that does subscribe. We love you lots, we really do, because we otherwise we'll be just her and I here. Talking to the void. Talking to a void. Talking yeah. to, talk so to a welcome. void. So um, welcome. It's lovely that the thought that people take their time mm -hmm. to watch what we would normally do. Yeah, I suppose. we massively appreciate you. Every yeah. single one of you. Yeah. Those that have been with us since the very, very beginning, I know who you are. <laughs> and the newcomers, buckle in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh, there's a few shout outs. Yes, I got okay. a couple. I, um, I'm an adult now. I have unlimited data on my phone, which means I can watch stuff while I'm away in the truck. You've no idea how much joy that brings me. And we're also doing this completely on the fly today because I've done no preparation. We've got no notes. It's going to be a real test of what I can remember. Without a safety net. It could be ugly. It could be very ugly. Well... Not with you, sat there, dear. Oh, yeah, the compliments just keep flying. Anyway, so um, I know that Harpy Stitch gave us an amazing mention recently. Um, I talked about Harpy Stitch, I can't remember her name now, I'm ever so sorry, my lovely. Um, it's gone blank and we've done no prep, but I just know it's Harpy. Harpy and Hubby. Yes, hilarious Hubby. Hilarious Hubby. He was, <laughs> he was trying to avoid being known as part of the actual team, but he is now, I'm afraid, you're very much intrinsically part of that video yes even though you're not actively in it yes um much amusement um but bravo guys all of you out there for actually going and subscribing i think we boosted her numbers quite considerably Good stuff. you are rocking that eye patch at the moment in fact i'm quite envious but i'm sure she'd rather be without but it why haven't you stitched on it yet yeah <laughs> That's what I want to know. But yes, I'm sure you'd rather, much rather be without it. And I hope it all heals very, very well soon. But it is actually a good look on you. I nearly put one on myself in support. But I'm not sure I could focus. That would well, that would be like taking the mickey a little bit, though, as well. Yeah. Yeah, how me. are you managing to stitch with one eye? It's yeah, depth, depth perception, perception and all that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I want to know. <laughs> I want to know. know. Tell me now. Tell me now, yes. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sort of her, 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 her eye and my, my wing, as it were. Um, anybody else you wanted to mention particularly? Oh, Darcy did an offering, and boy was it an offering. He was just Darcy at his best. Madness personified. Um, yeah. Just lovely. Um, he's obviously making a switch to stitching on linen, and I'm going to say to him, um, <coughs> tread carefully. <laughs> yep. Still, um, still waiting for that MFA chart. And what was that, Morty? I didn't quite hear that. He's still waiting for something to be sent to us from him. Mm. But then we've still got things to, to send, send to him. <laughs> so, mm, uh, what's anyway. gonna, which is going to arrive first? That's the next question. Mm. Um, yes. Uh, went to Bristol Stitches. We did. We did. Stitches day. You will have seen that as a Frosty Extra number eight mm. just recently, the whole hour 
of me rambling and talking to some very, very interesting people. We've got some Lovely beautiful work. stitches. It was a room of pure joy, actually. We have a flickering ring light. We do. If I do the eyes and in time the, to the it. The power is doing something. Excuse me, folks. That's not... Just wash us completely out. Aha! Okay. Um, just, sorry, we have had to turn it down to stop it flickering because that's really the... annoying. The room was full of a variety of stitching was, going on. Such a lot of different stuff. But different age people. And some crochet. And some crochet. And the lady across that from lady us doing the, the wedding, wedding dress. dress. My just... word. If you haven't seen it, people, go and check it out. Just go, go and check, check out, out the video and have a look at what people were stitching. and the... a cup of coffee and have a good watch. Yeah, it's just lovely. And um, the sausage place was just fantastic. Oh. <laughs> Oh. That was the best sausage mash I have ever had, yes. I think. Incredible. And it's not it's not easy to say that really because no, we do sausage not mash is, is pretty standard, but pretty this is standard was like, in this house. It was yes. just lovely. Proper English grub. And they had they had they had Coleman's mustard that just blew the top of your head yeah, off. Yeah, it was proper it was proper oh, Coleman's mustard, cool. but it actually was mustard. It Cleaned wasn't, the sinuses out. Because it was a while when it was quite anyway, we do we're digressing. Shall we do stitching? We can let's talk about stitching. So anyway, yes. Um moving on. We're calling this um Morty's Bell, Bell Mayhem. Fest. It's a Belfast. <laughs> Belfast. It's a yes. Belfast. Because we have got fully finishes abound. Woo! -hoo! Yes. Yes. And a finish. And a finish. And a finish. So first one's first. I suppose, yeah, I suppose the Three of them are mine, technically. Okay, so number one Hang is... On. Number one is finally... It, it's not as so much about a fully finish. It's a finally framed it. Yeah. An FFI. <laughs> finally framed it. Um, excuse the, the reflections that we're going to get in these, but... Oh, look, there's oh. our window. Now you can look. You can see the window. Hey. Um, yeah, let's do it that way. Sorry, me. can Sorry, you... I'll hold. You hold. So the... the the beach hut finally in a frame um really inexpensively framed but these are available at a shop called the range in the uk didn't feel it needed to have a mount around it but doesn't it look good in a frame yes it just does just does something pops to it beautifully pops beautifully i have a really bad habit of repeating people you might have noticed that if you watch the bristol thing is that like people say things and i repeat it it's affirmation and also when it comes to things like retreats it's so that the camera can actually hear what they've said. I think it's you're confirming that you've heard them correctly what yeah. you said, particularly in noisy environments. I've got to try stopping doing that. It's quite think of my own words. <laughs> um second second fully finished. Now this is yeah, yeah that's fine. You can put that one down now. I've shown it. That's fine. Um this one you haven't actually seen it in the flesh as it were mm. because the last video we did, 14th of September, Ross Tube number 32, this was still just a design that I hadn't been able to show you because the Forest Friends Stitchy Goodness scene wasn't released until the 17th of September, three days later. So not only have I, technically, I mean, it's not a start and finish, and I had finished it by the 14th of September, but I couldn't show you. But here it is framed as well. And again, the frame has come from the range. The range. Simple. And it is... I'm going to... Yeah, there we go. Wood I'm sorry about the reflections. Friends, wasn't it? This is the... It was Forest Friends zine. Forest Friends. And this is the Purple Emperor Butterfly. So let's get nice and close. And sorry about the reflections. Um, yeah. This, this is my design. It's available through the Stitchy Goodness scene through um, World on a String by Dara is the one who's, who's got it on her website. Um, and I chose for some bizarre reason to do a big stitch because that is that's 6,000 stitches, I think. Yeah, it's about the same size as the, the beach hut. 6,000 stitches and we'll come back to that in a minute. And the Purple Emperor Butterfly. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with this butterfly, it's in Europe, Northern Africa, I think. I could be wrong, but it's in Europe and it's in the south coast of Britain. It doesn't come down as far as Cornwall, but it mostly lives in the top of trees. And it comes down and it is really quite an icky insect in that it feeds off the, um, the runoff rainwater and, and body fluids dead stuff. from dead stuff. 
um, and tree sap and what have you. That light is really starting to annoy me. Mm. Anyway, moving on. So yeah, so in true Morty fashion, I've done something that's actually quite icky. Mm. Well but done. It's very nice, Morty. It's very well pretty. Done. Very pretty though. Mm. Stereotype not. Stereotype not. Not <laughs> much. Um, next finish. Fully finish. You'll have seen this. I've got it framed and it's got museum glass on it, so it doesn't actually reflect mm, quite reflection. so badly. Yeah, that works, doesn't My it? Madam Cara. This frame I will put across the screen, probably at the top there. The company that I got it from, because the name escapes me from the moment, is um, something like Frame Express or Frames for You. And I literally, I went on their website and I told them how big I wanted the opening, how much of a, a, a rebate on the mount board that I wanted, and how big the frame I wanted. So, and they sent me this. And it worked. At, it cost me about £20, I think, because I had a voucher off it as well. But it's brilliant. And so then I framed it myself within the frame that they sent through the post and just, yeah. But museum glass, it's just it's worth just, the extra. It was good. It's, it's it looks all right. Yeah. And I've mostly got it straight. It's <laughs> quite difficult framing something that's got a lot of straight lines in. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So the next one. It's a fully finished from this stable. Here we go. Are you Finally this? framed it. Yeah. You've seen this. I'll hold it. Um, so I've got, I can mount it. Okay, I've got it. Will you reflect your way? Yeah, but if I hold it like that. Okay. Um, yeah, for, fully. Um, once again, that as Morty just said, um, framing things that are straight edged and the border did cause some problems with the tension and things. But yes, it looks rather lovely in its frame. Yeah, um, and again, it's another another range frame, isn't it? Yes, it's a range frame. Yeah, indeed. So we. The... But the the um, the mount was um modified by the lovely morty yeah with some cutting involved and stuff so not quite centered in the frame but we did our, we did our very best with it but um yep it'll do um uh, yeah the, the the actual mount wasn't the aperture wasn't big enough but hey, I, you know all this isn't this textured treasures uh celtic b it's uh yep, yep. really pleased it's uh yeah. done Yay. on its way cool so next up we also get the bell for this one Somebody's got a finish. Somebody's got I have a, a finish. I have a face that reflects a finish. Um, started it early in the year. It is Star Parade's Quaker Sampler Quacker. Is that the screen? It's all, almost on the screen. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Two towards me a little bit. There we go. Um, I'm not going to pretend this has been easy. It has been a joy. Um, the three flying ducks in the top sort of right hand corner they challenged me um some of them stitched the bird with its wings down got stitched five times <laughs> um it really did challenge me I shouldn't laugh but um i am the frog king and so you know um it's been a joy it really has it's, it's a lovely design um and Darcy said in his offering that he's discovered uh, samplers and each little sample so to speak is a, is a win a finish and he's right um each time you finish an area it's like a little joy of a finish it's, it's beautiful and i will be doing another sampler soon mm. thank you that's brilliant i'm so impressed with that i'm um, me too me too thank you very much where are we gonna hang it i don't know that's to discuss when we've um got it in a frame yeah which is part of the hall as it happens oh, i took it upstairs hey ho took it upstairs last night so the dogs wouldn't crush them out mm. another frame from, from thingy okay right. back maybe yeah late. yeah i've got to ah. so i was holding that up wasn't i oh, I okay, have done. okay mm. never mind we'll talk about that in a minute right so me next whips whips i have oh let's do a whip um last time you saw badger uh, which is a heritage crafts oh you've lost it i have i've lost my information heritage uh, stitch craft by john clay john stubbs well john remembered stubbs. well remembered just because i um, remember the bar now but it looked like that it looked like this um i'm stitching it on uh even weave can't remember what count at the moment um the, not small the 28 count probably probably a 28 count but it's looking like that um 
There's no reflection. It's really good. Oh, no, there's no reflection. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, there's none glass. Yeah, it, it, it is what it is, and it's coming together beautifully. Um, a few stitches. It's had about four stitching sessions. It's going to get one more and yeah. I put away. Lots uh, of blending. Yes, bit of blending, but it's Tweeded. okay. Tweeding threads. Yep. Yep. Really good. Enjoyed it? Very much so. It's a joy. Awesome. Comes together beautifully. That was a Richie Stitcher needle minder. It was a Richie Stitcher needle minder. I must put those in our shop. I keep forgetting. Okay. Okay, next. And then we have what a... What whip have you got? Is that a whip? It's a whip, but it's a new start. It's a new start whip. It's a new start whip. Um, if you haven't watched Bristol, there's a story that goes with this. Um... The long and the short is I turned up at Bristol to stitch Badger, uh, left the chart at home. Um, so I had to rally round and buy this. Uh, there was a lovely lady there selling uh, charts and there was another lovely lady there selling uh, fabric. So did you get your chart from, from a the different... DMC? Right, so, you've got... so that was Marnie's mixed bag. Marnie's mixed bag was sold there. me this chart and then... Uh, coffee craft fabrics. Coffee craft fabrics, that's correct. Yeah, I did have it on a sheet of paper. Um, sold me a, a piece of linen um, to go on. Now, the chart design asks for like a, a red variegated thread. But obviously, um, I fancy doing a sort of boy type thing. And I've gone for like a... But there, there it is. That's what I got done. A lot of talking went on. Let me see it, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it. so the thread... Is this variegated? It is Dragonfly, uh, the gentle art. Gentle art. Claims it's colour fast, which is be nice. With a depressing look. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's it's no not showing up very well on that, is it? It's, no, it's, it's, it's nicely it's variegated. Brown. It's looking very yellow in that light. Yes, it is very brown. It's very greens and browns, um, and okay. obviously. Not a lot of joy in this yet because the day was marred by the fact that it's right, the, the middle. Chart, chart behind. Yes, the middle, middle. I'm starting middle, middle. Um, so, but it will become the the whip that gets done in the truck. Yes. Yes. And mm -hmm. and I'm back on linen again. The last time I did linen, um, it didn't turn out well. Yes, this is um, twenty eight count linen, mm. but it doesn't have a colour name. No, but it will do the job yeah. nicely. That's it. That's my lot. That's your lot. But I think uh, that's me four house, isn't it? A new start. Oh, yes. A whip. Whole... A fully finished. A finish. And a finished. Yeah, full house. Yes. So yeah, so that's the other thing. So we've had this, we have had this conversation with with him, himster, and yeah, that anybody who's watched Chris Cross Stitch will hear he's talked about a royal flush. Mm. So whilst we like the idea of the royal flush, we have our own version of yeah, because a royal. F we don't have fairies in the house, by the way. That you is, sure? That is our ring doorbell that nice. we now have since our last because I got fed up with racing downstairs and nearly breaking my neck from work up in the office upstairs to answer the front door. Um, and what you've just heard is the postman. The postman leaves his bag full of, of um, Second letters. Second half of his round in our... In our, in our little walkway. Pathway. We've got a mm. six-foot-long pathway and he leaves his bag outside our front door, um, not least because we've got a ring doorbell now, so yeah. he's going to do it even more. Yeah. Um, and it's him coming backwards and forwards and it's his alarm on his phone that goes off because I'm this silenced. <laughs> anyway, back to the plot. Where were we? Royal Flush. So Chris Cross Stitch has started the idea of Royal Flush, which is a, um, a start, a whip, a finish and a fully finish. But anybody who plays poker knows that a Royal Flush is actually five cards. So we think that there should be a start and finish in the middle there. So you would have a start, a whip, a start and finish, a finish, and then a fully finished off, or mm. finally framed it. I think yeah, FFI, finally framed it. Yeah. FFI is a good one. Um, we're not laying down a gauntlet or anything. It's no. just a discussion. Yeah, we're just, um, just you know we're, we're, trust us Brits to do something differently. So hence yes. the four card one. You're going to call a full house. Full house. Yeah, it's got to be a full house, isn't it? It's... Full house. Yeah. 
I suppose so. I'm not a poker player, so I wouldn't know. But yeah. So anyway, so yeah. There you go. There you go. Right. I only I have I have a start. I, mean, I, I don't have any finishes, but uh, you've seen my fully finish, and I have a, I have a, two whips, um, a start and two starts. Actually. But you have a caveat. Yeah. You are injured. Yes. You are down so limb. You will recall from the last video, the last vlog we did. Yes. That I was complaining about having a sore shoulder, um, and one of the reasons that sore shoulder. So, a sore soldier, apparently. A sore shoulder. A sore shoulder and elbow is because of that butterfly. I realised that I had a deadline to meet and there were more stitches in it than I realised. <laughs> so it might, it might have been 8,000 now I think about it. But anyway, I had to get it stitched in five days and I normally only do about 150, 200 stitches a day if, in, in an evening and I had a week off work so I really, really tore into it. I did all those stitches in five days flat and got it across for the Z and then followed that up with the remaining two days of my week off. Gardening. Gardening and decorating and mm. I have now been to see a physiotherapist who has told me that she thinks that I have got tennis elbow and a rotator cuff tendinopathy. Yes. And the, she didn't mention it because I've had carpal tunnel surgery, so it can't be carpal tunnel, but I've got problems with the tendons in the back of my hand here as well. We're about to have a four-legged friend join us as well. For a ball arrival. So I haven't done much stitching at all, but what I have done, let us... Let us look at. So I, the last time you saw it, I was when I was stitching on um, <clears throat> Night Spirit Studios Three of Crafts. It looked like this, and it now looks like this. You care to hold it up, sir? Mm -hmm. um, not a massive amount done on it. It's a um, lovely and red, I, isn't it? And I have this two reds there, actually. Good effect. It's very well done. Love this piece, and. Um, yeah, I haven't actually counted up the stitches that I did since our last one, two, vlog. three, so many lots. It's probably about four, five hundred. Okay, maybe. qualifies as lots. So, yeah, so there's that one, or and, some. Then, and then the other one that I've been working on is the Dragon with Embroidery by Nadej de Casarina. This is nicely oh, said. <clears throat> going back a set step, we I picked up. The Night Spirit Studio one is part of Stitch for Sage because Sage was going for cancer. What's this on? It's on black 14, something. 14 Count Black Ada. 14 Count Black Ada. And I don't have any problem stitching with Black Ada because the needle just finds the hole. Yes. So the other one, Nadej de Casarina, um, in the Dragon with Embroidery. Part of the Nadej de Casarina Dragon Sale. Last time you saw it, it looked like this. And now, and it now it looks, in... it's looking more and more like a dragon. It is. While it was on the frame at Bristol, um, you weren't there. You were away interviewing people. Mm -hmm. uh, people were just walking out having a glance. It's a dragon. You could, you know, they could tell yeah, it was a dragon. dragon. Mm. It's a dragon. Mm. Yeah. Looking good. Arena. Stitching it along with um, Cross Stitch Bunny and um, Amber who, of the Rogue Mama Stitcher fame. And there's a couple of others, Anita. Um, the Violet Stitcher is doing one as well. They, those three, I think, we're all doing the pancake one. But okay. I wanted the dragon with embroidery. And you're stitching it on Evenweave? No, Ada. It's a, it's an Ada, but I think it's a 16 or 18 count. It's okay. It's a lot smaller, but I'll have to check that. It's cool. It looks smaller than 14, that's for sure. Is it fun to stitch? Yeah. With the green? There's a lot of green in it. I seem to have a carried thread at the back there. You do. You'll get covered over, it's all right. Um, yes, lots of green, and I'm actually using a mixture of DMC and CXC threads, so there might be a couple of threads there that aren't quite the right shade, and I was a bit worried about that really dark colour, but I mm. think it'll be all right once it's fully stitched and backstitched. Mm. Cool. Okay. Very nice. Um, oh, I've got another, another whip. I have done. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. <laughs> It's got, it's, this has got to be finished. I need the frame back. It's got cobwebs on this. it. Yeah, it's got cobwebs on it, which is kind of appropriate. <laughs> but, um, Stitchy for Witchy. So poor, poor Witchy Stitcher, Meg, between the pair of them, Sage and Meg, both of them are very poorly. They've both got cancer at the moment, different oh, sorts. Oh, 
Um, Doesn't that just put it all into it, perspective? It does put it all into perspective. So I figured I, I did buy a couple more charts. I can't remember which ones. <laughs> I think I might have shown them the last video. But I've dragged cryptids out from its... its and what did it look like last time? It looked like this last time. And it looks like... Not much change. <laughs> this. There's a bit more of a hool in there. I've done some of a hool. A hool. So I've actually got... I've got to finish off a hool. I've got one more there, and then I I had just started this. This is not Wait, not werewolf. I don't know what it does. I don't know what it, it is. With it's because with mur. Um, but literally all you can see there is actually all I've stitched apart from a couple of letters. Um, so I've actually got four more blocks. I've got ah, five okay. five okay. and a half cryptids to go. Okay. No, I am not stitching supernatural. I was going to. I'm not stitching supernatural. Um, because Just life not is enough too time. short. Life mm. is too short. There's too many other things I want to stitch. Yep. I don't know. How Any uh, that's linen on linen. That's on linen. It's thirty-two count pole stitches heirloom. Mm. Cool. It's and a good the effect. only reason I remember what I'm stitching on is because I have broken out the thirty-two count pole stitches heirloom fabric that I had bought to do supernatural on for a new start. New start. So. You won't have seen this one before. Well, you have. You have, because I showed the picture last time. I said it was in the plans. Mm. This it's little fellow. Start. The Cottage Garden Samplings Pirate, number nine in the Snowman Collector series. is just adorable. Look at that. Let's get it a bit closer. It's just, yes, gorgeous. It's, snowman's got a peg leg. Gorgeous. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> snowman with a peg leg. Um, and a parrot. Look at the parrot on the on the... Yeah, it's like, got yeah. a hat on. Anyway, um, so nice. one of the stitching games online is, um, I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> I can't remember what the game's called. But anyway, I'm on board a pirate ship called the Stitch Bandit with Laura of the Slovak Farm um, and Kat, who is who only vlogs once a year, which is quite funny, um, and a couple of others that, that Tracy. Um, so we all decided we were going to Tiffany, Tiffany, Beth Ann. Yeah, um, we were all doing that as a South. They restarted that this weekend for 24 hours of cross stitch. And I have managed to get in 100, 168, 169 stitches on it. Some. Got the back end of the ships. Mm. Tattered sails. Mm. And it's fab. But this is a bit of fun. Yeah, so this is on 32 count Bit pole stitches. Heirloom. Heirloom. Belfast linen. Very nice. Yes. And I have one other start. I can't remember if I started this last time. I yes, didn't you had started this. Yes, you had. Had I? Yes. Okay, here we go. So you're not to start, it's a continuation. It's, it's a, a whip. It's a whip. So I haven't got very far with it, but yes. One of the Mill Hill blue... blue why did I want to say blue bells? Because it's a blue ball. Really. I think I'm going to ban <laughs> the phrase. I've not got very far with it. Yeah. Because um, everybody has lives, don't we? We have lives. Full time other job. Things. Um, we'd all love to be full time stitchers, wouldn't we? Full -time I would. Job, yes. Decorating. Somebody wants to support me and let me and earn money just like they're stitching. That'd be great. Poorly shoulder. And poorly shoulder. So please, no more. A stitch is a stitch, whether it's one, two, three, some, lots, or many. Another fur ball coming in. Go on, Nebia. Go Hello, lay down. Nebia. On your bed, darling. Right. Hey. Ben May. Good girl. Ben May, Nebia. Ben May. Good girl. The cat came in and ran off. You did. Um, stash. Yes. Where have you put it? It was here. That's not for stitching. Oh, oh stash is upstairs. Well, there was the frame, but that's... Yeah. It's the frame to frame. You'll see it when it's finally... Framed. Is this new? I yes, that's new. That's I bought new. that. Um, the fabulous stitchy ferret. I've got some fourteen count opal ada in the colourway nebula, which is really funny because people keep getting our dog's name wrong. They nebula. call him Nebby Nebia Neb. They keep calling him Nebia nebula, nebula, and it's not. She's Nebia, which is fog in Italian. Yes. Um, but look at it. I, this is not going to do it justice on this camera. That's not far off. That's very but look very at that beautiful. fabric. That's beautiful, isn't it? It's awesome. I don't know what I'm going to start on That's a on huge it. piece. 
It's big. It's biggish. It's eighteen by twenty-seven. I think it needs a a very light fabric sampler to go on it. Eighteen eighteen point five by twenty-eight. It's it's almost asking for a long dog, really. Mm. But it is there. We go. But in what colour? Look at that. Just in black. Black or maybe three seven nine nine. I've got some three seven nine nine just here. Just here, where is it? There it is. It's three seven nine nine. Oh, it's a grey. It's a dark grey. So rather than black, which is yeah, quite stark, that would work. Or yeah. a very dark purple. Mm, Might work. In complete contrast, yeah. But yes, look, it's good. Yes. Actually, picking up all the sparkle on Sparkly, that. Sparkly, yeah. Very cool. That's my stomach just rumbled. And it's a uh, piece of Ada. It's a piece of Ada, yeah. yeah. Fourteen count Ada. It's nice. fab. I saw that when when. Um, and Stitchy Ferret put it actually up online. Cool. And I was like, oh, I need a piece of that. <laughs> I'm having I to my that. And the, um, I bought the threads for the pirate. Um, if it's not on a bobbin, I've just bought it, basically. It's not on... You know. I bought that from Marnie's Mixed Bag, actually, while we were at Bristol. Right. Um, oh. The other thing that I have just bought this morning, I'm putting my money where my mouth is actually. Well, hey. So, you are all very familiar with Lavender and Lace, Mirabilia, Nora Corbett, Bella Filipina. Amazing design. Autumn Lane Stitchery even. Yeah. Um, and if we go back further, Told in a Garden and Butternut Road. Is that Toad in the Garden or Told? Told in a garden. Told in, in a garden. Okay. Tag. Okay. Toad in a garden would be a nice name. Toad in a garden would be good for us. Yeah. Yes. But anyway, so there's all of those designers. There's Shannon, Christine as well now. She's got some lovely ladies. And your point is? My point is, is there's another one, an Italian one called Passione Ricamo. Um, I think her surname is Lautade, but it's La Laura has got some amazing designs her facebook group only has about 650 um, followers on it you'd need to go and look yeah go and have a look i know there are some people out there that are stitching them sammy your one joe's got one um there are some pieces that are really good companions for some bella filipina they're, they're, there's, mm. there's a i don't know which one came first but there's a couple there that you think mm, mm. yeah um Circe is a nice one, but the one that I have bought this morning is Into the Darkness. She's the Witch Queen. No stereotypes, of course. No stereotypes, of course. <laughs> there, are, there are there are fairies, there are queens, there is medieval designs. Mm. I'll probably put oh, a couple stunning. of extras um, of pictures around here as I talk about them. But the one that I bought, this one, is just gorgeous with that black dress and... The fabric is that that is stitched on is thirty two count Belfast linen waning moon by Pole Stitches, and it's still available. I know Casa Sanina has got it on their website, and cool. I, so I'm going to be ordering that to stitch it on because it's just perfect, absolutely perfect for it. Um, but the reason I just had to do it is not just because it's a graveyard and it's and it's, it's beautiful. A, bird in a black dress and a cat um... but if you look in that bottom left hand right hand corner there is a triquatra mm. and we are tattooed have triquatras tri tri as does our daughter yeah. triquatra so it was like yes. it's basically stamped it as you're doing this one you're doing this one you're doing this one yeah, Morty. Yeah. it's beautiful love it so go and check her out um, the other thing is, Passione Ricamo have their 30th anniversary next year and they are likely to be releasing a 30th celebratory um, design. Something. They did for 20 years, so yeah. I hope that Laura, I hope you're listening, Laura, <laughs> is going to do a 30-year celebratory be nice. one because it's just lovely and um, I need to learn more Italian. I keep saying this, I really have got to start learning Italian because I've discovered there is a convention there was a convention this year in May, and it was in April the year before, near uh, in northern Italy. I can't remember the name of the area. I'll put it across the screen. Convention del Dam del Lago, the, the convention of the women of the needle, or something. Stitching's done. Stitching's done. Let's do the words. It, uh, is there anything else we need to add? Any other any other plans? Keep stitching. 
Any other announcements? Keep stitching. Um, um, sending hugs to Sammy, who's organising the Big Stitch 2024. To anybody, really, that's just got those big worries in life. Well, Sammy's got a bigger worry than most because Sammy got evacuated from her house this week thanks to floods. You know. So, and just she's organising Big Stitch 24. So, hug out just, to you, Sammy. You know, for those of us are in a happy place, just hugs out to everybody that's struggling. Yes. Definitely. So, we're going to say... Tata, because yep. this one has got a night shift so you go to bed. Um, so we hope you stay happy, healthy, wise, and well. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. We'll see you next time. Bye.